Oh, 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 oh. My gums are hurting in places that don't make sense. So I think I'm gonna have to call the dentist tomorrow. Um, but I also don't want to get charged like $50 to just say, hey, my gums hurt. Okay, that'll be like 100 up front for asking a question, like, you know. Good morning. As much as I like to keep these ponytails. These are not ponytails, are they? I don't know. Um, they are a mess. So these were purely for curling um, purposes. Let's see how they turned out, I guess. I usually don't like to unbraid things when, um, when they're meant to curl until like right before, because I'm like, Suspicious, not suspicious. Um, I'm not thinking straight right now. I'm like paranoid that they're gonna be like bland by the time that I show up if I undo them early. So I wait till the very last second to take them off. And that is how I start my day with my anxiety. Looks good though. I'll probably do like a, a top half up. Does that make sense? I'm gonna do a half up. Cool, this will work. Clearly this apartment is way bigger than my old one. And it's making me realize, um, hi babies, hello. How much stuff we one, have, and two, don't have. Like all my fall decorations, I thought I had a lot more, but I mean, it, 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 I think I have a lot of Halloween decorations, but watch, when it's time to decorate for Halloween, I'm gonna be overwhelmed. Not because I have a lot of stuff, but because, um, I don't have a lot of stuff. I'll need to buy more, but moving is expensive and, I don't have- I can't spend any more money right now. Hope it stays like that. One of my friends sent me a TikTok um, of a comment and someone respond laughing to it that said, um, I think getting hit by a car and surviving is so embarrassing. And it is. A bitch drank 23 today! Started off crying, but what else is fucking new? We're gonna vibe today, ladies and gentlemen. Right, Jimmy? We're gonna fucking vibe. <laughs> <laughs> Five second rule. Hmm? No, the one thing about turning 23, right? I've been saying, I don't know if I've said this before. I've been saying that I'm 23 nearly all year. Sorry, there's dogs eating. It's really fucking loud right now. But I don't know why. I guess I never really felt 22. 23 is, I don't know, it feels comfortable. Maybe 23 is my year. Maybe something's gonna happen in my 23rd year of age. Who the fuck knows? Today was a good day. Probably have to celebrate my birthday more this weekend. Um, but today was chill. I had cake. I, had, I got spooky cookies. That's all that matters. Okay, I'm not a morning person. But theoretically, if I were to want to become a morning person, um, which I've thought about, it would have to be soon. I'm 23 now. I think it's time to up the game. I don't wanna feel like I'm stuck at work all the time, every single day. Things are changing. I've only been 23 for two days and everything's already changing. My theory is because I've been saying I'm 23 all year, which means I've been lying to people. So I'm sorry if you're one of those people I lied to, but also I don't really give a shit. But so, it was just meant to be. It feels right to be 23. And I don't know what that means about a cadabra. Like maybe it's the universe telling me that 23 is my year. Some things, maybe 23 is my year. It's my lucky number. I don't actually, I, don't, I, I used to think my lucky number was seven, but I don't know. It's time to change. Hi, Bebos. Bye, Bebos. First official day of being 23. And my car got fucking towed. <laughs> my car got towed. My dumbass parked in a fucking reserved permit spot last night. Ugh. I'm still learning the parking. I'm still learning the parking of this area. We have like construction going on. So like I didn't want to park in the way of construction and I've only been 23 for a day. Well, according to me officially, wait, hold up, you're dirty. Okay, according to me, I've only been 23 for like a year. I've been saying I'm 23, right? But like, I'm so lucky my bosses have a sense of humor. Luckily enough, the towing place is only five minutes away from work. What is my luck right now? Holy shit. Though It's like the world was like, you're gonna learn how to be an adult, but we're gonna help you out a little bit because we're not that fucked up, you know? Fuck. I knew this day was gonna happen though. Uh, I've had this panic before, but at my old place. 
This bitch thought she was gonna get towed at her old place, not her new place. So now she knows that there are reserved permit spots. Now I know. It was so dark. It's not really my fault. Okay, it, it is, but I just didn't see the sign. I guess I didn't even think to see the sign. I don't know why I didn't even think to see the sign. This is my dumbass walking through a fucking impound car lot. I see my baby. I see my baby. I'm so sorry. I fucking abandoned you. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm running. I'm running. Reunited. 200 fucking dollars to get this bitch out. Let the record show that I'm now too paranoid to park anywhere. So I triple, double, quadruple check that I didn't park in anyone's fucking permit spark. I meant to say spot. I'm self-conscious of walking by construction men because of the incident. Where the fuck did I park? Uh-uh, I'm going the other fucking way around. Really sucks, but uh, I'm not about to get fucking catcalled this morning. Why are my shoes glowing? My Jesus? <laughs> Life imitates art. Today was a very long day. The days are just getting longer. This is what being an adult is like because. Could I have a timeout? Could we have a team discussion? A group email. A pigeon. Let's discuss what needs to happen next. This doesn't have to be about my life either. This can be about all of our lives. How you doing? You doing okay? How's your therapy session going? Our dishwasher sucks. So I'm supposed to be waiting to see if they show up today to take a look at it or fix it, whichever the fuck comes first. They're supposed to either come yesterday or today and then didn't come yesterday. So I guess today's the day. Or maybe they won't even come today because I don't know what maintenance people think sometimes, dude. So I might as well finish decorating, finish organizing. Just came back from Imadres. Just needed to show the wall. I did that uh, before I left. As you can see, the little smoke detector thing. I need to stop doing that. The smoke detector is kind of in the way, but it's fine. I made it work. Finally got rid of the boxes that were here. The maintenance people never showed up, by the way. It's like, it's like, it's like, it's like, it's like I'm my child waiting for the parents to to do the thing that they promise, but then they never promise it. Sorry, the phone is on my dog right now, so that's why you're moving so much. Like, I think, I think I just need to, I need to call the office again. I think I just need to call the office again. Our TV is small, right? The one that we use for the bedroom is small. In our last place, because our bedroom was small then, the TV worked for the wall of this bedroom, but this bedroom wall, just look at this. Massive. Look at that TV. Not massive. It's going to look comical. It's I'm going to look like Michael Scott with his flat screen TV oh in his condo. Peter, tell us your story. They got the vibes. Literally. So here's the stitch, right? I, almost two hours away from home in a different city to go to my alma mater and just fuck around because why the fuck not? My eyeliner. It's already smudging. No one told me that it was up my fucking eyebrows. Um, so fake friends. Hopefully it's fixed, I don't know. But I came back to get my sunglasses and my earplugs because this shit gets loud. Oh, someone got a parking a parking ticket. <laughs> the smells at my uh, alma mater are great too. It always smells like fucking cow manure here. Thought I was taking a picture, but I took a video. <laughs> Everyone's a babe.